were friends back when he first created the rubber guard, back when uh, he originally, it was just a few moves. It was the meat hook, and there was a bunch of other moves that uh, actually worked with the gi, you know, uh, different things that he invented. Um, and it was all just him being creative because of the fact that he was a little guy, and, uh, you know, he was always getting overwhelmed by bigger, heavier guys, and, you know, he has a lot of flexibility, and he developed that flexibility even more by practicing all this rubber guard. But it's interesting to have seen it evolve, seen it change and grow, and all under his innovation, and then see it blossoming other places. But what's fascinating is, for whatever reason, people don't want to give him credit for it. That's the weirdest thing about it. So we're here, we break him down. Remember, if he's trying to back out, this is a leg curl. Your leg doesn't necessarily have to be on a hip the whole time. If he's trying to stack you, yeah, you need that. That's your only thing. But if he's trying to back out, bam, or if he's trying to posture up, you're going to crack him. Defend your arms, guys. Defend your arms 100 percent The rubber guard that you see in the UFC now, where guys are going to mission control and they're holding a fighting place. All that stuff is from, from Eddie. He invented all that. The 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu is so different from regular Jiu Jitsu. There's so many added improvements and so many variations and so many positions and all the different names. It's literally like a, a, a separate branch. Like it's gone in a certain direction, completely designed for no gi Jiu Jitsu. Completely designed where no handles, no sleeves. Everything is underhooks, overhooks, double underhooks, gable grips. Everything is uh, in a, a, a manner that you can use it effectively in MMA. No one has put it into a system, you know, an organized system the way Eddie has. That's a fact. It's his system. Stop hating. So what the hell are we doing here, Brian? What's going on? We are going to learn some awesome new jiu-jitsu from the man, the myth, and the legend, Eddie Bravo. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved with the 10th Planet. Well, I'm an old kickboxer, Thai boxer, and when I first came here, there wasn't a lot of stuff to play with that I was used to. So I, was, I hooked up with um, uh, Fabio Santos Black Belt here, and just kind of kept expanding my game. And the more I studied, the more I learned, the more I discovered that um, this is the next evolution in jiu-jitsu and this is the way it's going. I mean, the Japanese took 200 years to do what the Brazilians did in, did in, in 50 years and, and Eddie Bravo's done that in five years, so... Oh, come on. <laughs> so you got um, involved uh, with uh, John Botello is who certified you, right? John Botello is, is, is the man that came up and put us through our paces. We'd been doing a lot of a lot of self-teaching, a lot of self-learning, doing it the hard way through the books and through the internet. And so we'd actually been working the system for a couple of years before we finally hooked up with you know one of your one of your main guys. So and it's just been awesome since then. Awesome, cool. Let's check out the gym. You got it. How you doing? How you doing? Where are you from, sir? Phoenix. Oh, you're from Phoenix. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. buddy. Were you at uh, any of my seminars in the past? I went to the one in uh, Riverside. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. But none that I that I taught in Phoenix. Not in Phoenix. No. Were you at the Einstein one? Uh, yeah, I was at the Einstein okay. one. Okay. Okay. How was that? That was great, man. Is he a dick? Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> he's awesome, man. Love him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
dilated. Yeah. Worldwide. Crazy veteran, a whole family first fam. Drop the world to swing that double S sword and works fam. BJJ from GJJ. Like who cool hurt gave birth to which the DJ plays. But despite the lineage, I would never be closed minded. Never refuse to see beyond the lines, you go blind. Rocker travels the tenth planet, I flow free. I welcome on mini mats, E to no B. Though my branch traces used to be original tree.